Come in, come here. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. I got a stick in your hand. Listen, I said you got to eat something from you, from the, not some water, okay? All right. <laughs> just something, all right? Yep. He got too excited that time. I don't understand that. <laughs> and of course, you all got to drink some Newfoundland Street Rum. Then you will repeat after me a very famous Newfoundland saying. And of course, the last part, you got to kiss something from Newfoundland. I told you. <laughs> I am from Newfoundland. <laughs> <laughs> the implication. <laughs> <laughs> don't you hear her No way. Joe is single, right? You're not here. Just keep drinking these guys. You're not kissing me. I'll take your your head, all right? Hey. I'll take you. Always got your feet back to the first. <laughs> I'll find some for all the ugly old fellas to kiss, all right? <laughs> so now remind me again, Andrew, where you're from? Connecticut. Where you born? Connecticut. Where do you live to now? Connecticut. <laughs> Why? It's, uh, the weather. <laughs> so, are you closer to the city? You're closer to up to Hartford? It's hard, it's hard yeah, to call it the city. From Hartford. Are you yeah. okay? Oh my God! I used to love your hockey team one time. Oh yeah. That's all we talk about. <laughs> And you're Joe, right? Yeah. Not Joey. Whatever. Was Joey when I was like six, but it's been a few years. No, Joey's too famous for you. <laughs> That's probably true. Not very famous. Joey from Friends. They don't say the average Joey. Joey. That's the Joey that gets associated. Not like, <laughs> not like, not like, like, you know, like Joey Fatone. Yeah. You know, he's been yeah. saying yeah. so, yeah. But you said you were born in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Minnesota, yeah. And now you live down in the city. Yep. All right, lovely. Heather, where are you from? Big up! And uh, you were Brendan or something? Yeah, Brendan, yeah. And where are you from? Uh, also the Hartford area, but now I live in Vermont. Okay, but you're born in Connecticut. Yep. And up a little bit further. So 100 miles up the road now. Well, yeah. another 50 miles would be Canadian. Yeah, close. Yeah, yeah it's pretty damn close. Snowboarder! And you were uh, <laughs> Adam. Adam. I grew up in Connecticut. <laughs> you're born in Connecticut. Still live, still live in Canada. I'm in Vermont. Yeah. Oh, you were both. Oh, so oh. Yeah. oh, I didn't know you're both together. <laughs> in one way. <laughs> I mean, like, I like probably two ways. Two, ways. two ways. Two ways. We kind of know each other a little bit. Now, listen up, my friends. Like, I could talk all day long. Now, he told me he had about an hour before he had to go back over there again. Yeah. And because you're all American, I'm, I'm going to tell you a few. I will tell you facts that link Newfoundland. America. Okay. Oh. I'm not all Canadians. <laughs> now, I told you all in the water. Oh, that little kid loves the beer. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 He's mad you won't screech him in. Screech, oh, did you want to do some cranberry juice for more? Lemonade no. or anything? No, he's all set. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Now, first of all, I'm going to eat something not from yet. Newfoundland. Hey, you, don't, you don't live here. Oh, but down here in Newfoundland, this is actually called steak. Uh, not, it's not your kind of steak. It's not big T-bone, or it's not sirloin, or a prime rib. It's actually called Newfoundland steak. It looks like spam. I got a stick in my hand, remember? <laughs> if you get something wrong, I want to hit you. Thank you. Merci. Yeah, go ahead. Eat I'm waiting for directions. Yeah, wait. Yeah, well, he, they got there eating already. No, that was the wrong tray. That was <laughs> now we call that Newfoundland steak, but it's not. Uh, it They're too short to hit, actually. <laughs> I can't reach out over the things there. Now it's not spam, as he said. Come on, Joey, tell us what is it? Spam. I just said it's not, I just said it's not spam. I think it's spam. <laughs> it's a, it's a See, Heather knows. Yes. Of course, it's baloney. Hey, oh, is that spam? See, no, my God, no. See, we call baloney the state of Newfoundland because baloney is the most popular meat in Newfoundland. Nothing under God's creation comes close to that. Too. My friends, on this island of Newfoundland, I told you this is a very large island. By the way, Newfoundland is, we are the ninth largest island in the world. It's Newfoundland. 
Oh. No, we've only got 500,000 people on this massive island. And Adam, last year we managed to consume a lot of money. Seven million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are the highest consumers of baloney on the planet, actually. On the planet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Joey, see, down here in Newfoundland, in the morning time for breakfast, we don't eat that Canadian bacon stuff for breakfast. We live large on the island, Brennan. We have steak and eggs every day. Let's call it Newfie steak. <laughs> Fried bologna with eggs. You ever had that before for breakfast? Oh my God, seriously. Fried bologna with eggs, a side of baked beans, a cup of towels, actually. That is the real traditional Newfoundland breakfast. Now, bologna became known as Newfie steak. It goes way back to 1929 during the start of the Great Depression. At that time, Newfoundland was the poorest place in North America. <laughs> and bologna was the main source of meat for people living here. Could afford to buy to feed their families. By the time that Great Depression was over, they started calling bologna a new feast day. And imagine, here we are 90 years later, and bologna is still the most popular meat in Newfoundland. And while you're here, if you visit all the beautiful little tourist gifts there on Water Street, do you know who you'll find, Heather? There's a real outro. Newfoundland bologna. Recipe book. <laughs> I know people have, but the tourists, they love it. And most of those go back to the days of the Great Depression, of how to prepare bologna or add to something else. So something different on the table every day. Okay, friends, now, the next part, you all got to drink some Newfoundland Street Rum. Ew. But before you can even touch this rum, before you can even touch this rum. I'm not going to touch the rum. When I <laughs> I'm going to ask you all a question. Now, Heather Dance, you got two words. Two little tiny words, okay? I'm going to ask you a question. And you're all going to respond to me with a big enthusiastic, yes, boy. Because I'm going to ask you all, are you screechers? Yes, yes, yes boy. Don't touch that yes. Didn't touch it? <laughs> you're about to. <laughs> Was it thoughtful? Did it thoughtfully see or something? Well, <laughs> 1984. <laughs> you see, remember the soup Nazi in New York? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I walked by his place. I'm, no I'm going to screech in Nazi. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. No scratch for you. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. See, those two little words, yes, but. Now, you're over here at a wedding tonight, right? Yeah. You will hear those words many times. Guess what? Because those two words are the most used words in Newfoundland. If someone said tonight, Joey, oh, Joey, want a beer? Yes, boy. Yeah. No, no, wait. Bye. <laughs> There's no O. Bye. B Y. Bye. What's the kid say? Boys and salty. What? Okay? You know, we said, we said just yes, bye. Just bye. Or some said, Heather, would you like to get some supper? Yes, bye. See, yeah. <laughs> it's the answer to everything down here in Newfoundland. So, Andrew, if someone asked you a question, oh, you're not really sure the answer, oh, just say, oh, well, yes, bye. And you, you'll be fine, all right? All right. <laughs> okay, now, on the count of three, all together, pick up that ramen down the hatch. Now, my friends, when I say it's down the hatch, Actually, Adam, you're fine. Actually, even I think you're fine. I'm not so sure about you, actually. Why is that? <laughs> I can just tell. <laughs> so when I say it's down the hatch, I mean it's like, Andrew, don't taste it. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, right? I've taken a shot once. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'll give you a shot. The second looks like my big old musket. Look. Hey, dear, look. No. Do you know, we got so many sayings down here in Newfoundland. We actually got Newfoundland books, full book of all different kinds of Newfoundland sayings and what you they actually need, okay? Now, one of my favorite sayings, Joey, we says... Yes, bye. No. Why? No, we bye? We says just throw it in ya. <laughs> throw it in ya. Yes, yeah, she said. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. See, we don't say throw. Throw. We throw. says throw in Newfoundland. Okay? Throw it in ya. So, when I says one, two, three... Pick up that rum, Andrew, and just throw, throw it in. in ya. Ready? One, two, 
Three. Throw it in, yeah. Mine was empty. I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Set, we're screeched. Come on, Joey. How's it taste, Ashley? Delicious. It is pretty good. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? yeah. You know, I get stuff. I do about five thousand screechings every summer. Oh, from all the world here. And people come in and say, "Listen, we want to get screeched in, but we, people tell us that dirty old black rum from Newfoundland is rotten." <laughs> and but when they taste my rum, they're like, "That's really good, Ashley." See, our Newfoundland screech tastes so nice because it's made out of sugar cane. It has a nice little sweet taste to it. And you know, this rum, Evan, has been Newfoundland's national rum for over 300 years now. Pretty amazing, isn't it? But it tastes so good, Andrew, because guess what? It's not from Newfoundland. <laughs> from Jamaica? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Well, that's well, that's kind of oh, guess. Oh, you can read. Wait, that's what Jeff did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I assumed he's from Minnesota, so he couldn't read. <laughs> but he actually can read. All right. Top of his class. Okay. Of course. No, if I could read, I'd say it was from Jamasia. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's how you know I was guessing uh, right. You now, nah, my friends, do you know how our national realm came from Jamaica? Because over 300 years ago here in Newfoundland, we had a whole lot of fish, a whole lot of codfish, and we started trading with Jamaica. We gave Jamaica our Newfoundland salt codfish, and they filled our fish barrels with Jamaican black rum. And my friends, this black rum will come back to Newfoundland. And you know what, until 1949, our rum actually, it had no official name, had no labels out for centuries. Rum came back from Jamaica to this Puerto Rican clear bottles. Before that was called the old black rum. And do you know where, since you're on America, do you know where the name Screech actually came from? Say by the bell. Say Justin Diamond. No. This is actually a true fact. So during World War II, here in Newfoundland, long before your president Eisenhower declared war on Japan and Germany, Newfoundland oh, had over 100,000 American soldiers here. They were already here training in Newfoundland. Because way back then, airplanes could actually fly from Newfoundland over to Europe. America came here, they built all of our airports. We had five huge, massive American bases. One of them down in Argentia. In 1944, a U.S. general went to the base. And all the soldiers said to me, he said, here, sir, try some of the black rum. He put the bottle on his head. He drank and drank and drank and put the bottle down. And let out a great big screech. All those soldiers on the base in our danger, they started calling our rum just screech. Five years later, when Newfoundland joined Canada in 1949, the government decided to actually call our rum Newfoundland Screech. That name comes from a U.S. general, actually. Hey. Now, boys, ever been to Jamaica? No. No, no, no not to Jamaica stop in Queens. <laughs> to the country of Jamaica. No. Flew over it. Yes. The Have you? Yeah. Do you know the country of Jamaica? They are